What's happening, people? Josh from EverydayFBA.com. Today's video is going to cover all things email marketing using System.io. You're going to get a complete tutorial so that by the end of this video, you're confident enough to go out there and create your very first email marketing list. We're going to cover lead capture and opt-in pages. We're going to cover building campaigns. We're going to cover setting up automations. We're going to look into lead management and tags, and then we'll look at the statistics of your business and of your email sends right here in this video i'm gonna break it all down you guys have no idea how hard it is to stay statistics on video and get it correctly i probably recorded that intro five times but let's get into the rest of this video so that you can be a system.io email marketing pro now if you don't know what system.io is it's an all-in-one marketing software that you can use it's like click funnels without the hefty cost and i actually prefer this over click funnels and you can get started with it for absolutely free but if you want to grab one of their paid plans use a link in the description and get hooked up with my extra special bonuses that's first things first right go and get your system.io account secondly before you can do anything else in this video you need to go and watch this video right here that i recently published launching in five steps the system.io tutorial this video right here is going to get you set up for 2024 and beyond this is going to get you compliant with google and yahoo's guidelines that are coming down really really soon you must complete the steps in this video to in order to really make sure that your emails are going to get delivered into those inboxes so do that watch the rest of this video and go back and watch that one but let's get into the first uh, little parameter here what are we talking about lead capture so in order to start capturing those leads you need some kind of opt-in page right you can do that easily in system.io and create your opt-in i want to build an audience and then i'll hit save and now we can build out this awesome opt-in page you can see system.io gives you plenty of uh, templates here that you can work with i'm just going to pick one at random let's go with this one here We'll check out what it looks like. This is the opt-in page currently as the template is laid out. You can definitely go in here and customize anything you like. You can remove everything if you want, but this is the important part right here. The lead capture part right here is where we're going to set up some automations. I'll just show you real quick how easy it is to edit the funnel or the opt-in page. And it's got it in sections here. So if we want, we can just delete these entire sections. This section right here, the simple opt-in page right there. We'll save that. This is just for example purpose only you know of course you would want to go through here and edit it further but now let's see what it's looking like there we go simple opt-in page right now let's go set those automations over here on the funnel you can see this tab right here automation rules so we're going to do two things with the automation rule here we're going to tag them with something special so that we know where they came from or what they're interested in and then we're going to put them onto an email campaign we'll subscribe them to an email campaign so that they start getting the series of emails from us but we have to create that email campaign first so on the top menu here we're going to go to emails and then we're going to go to campaigns and we're going to hit this button right here create so that we create a brand new campaign you can name it something and put it in a description there i'm just going to put in test and test and hit save and now you can see that campaign has been created we can click on it and here's where we're going to start to add those emails we'll go over here and we'll hit create and we'll put a subject line i'm just going to put number one and then i'll hit save and now we'll be able to write that email and up here i'll hit save now right now this is the first email right it's not active yet but we can go on and create our second one number two of course you would write all of this out we we'll do number three i'll do this three just for an example but it can be as long as you want it to be Oop, i don't want to test it save so we got these three emails here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to activate them and put them into sequence. So for email number one, we'll hit these three little dots and we'll hit activate. And it says this email will be sent after choose which email. Now we don't want this. We want this to be sent first. So we don't have to do that for this one. And then delay before sending the email. You can do a day. You can do five minutes. Typically I'll do five minutes um, after they opt in they'll get my very first email, which is basically an introduction and a welcome email. So we'll hit activate right now and that's ready to go. We'll go to email number two and do the same exact thing. Only this time we'll select which one we wanted to be sent after, which is number one. And we'll put a one day delay there and then activate. And finally for the third one, we'll activate it after number two and add another day. 
and activate. So now anyone who opts into this particular email campaign will get the first email five minutes after they subscribe and then another email the next day, another email the next day, and you can really just build this out however. So now that you have your email campaign set up, you can connect it to your opt-in page. So over here on automation rules, we'll click on that and we'll add a brand new rule and we're going to select the funnel step form subscribe anybody that opts in that puts their email in and clicks that button they are subscribing so we're going to add that as the trigger we'll click on that and then over here we'll click on these three dots and edit the automation rule so that we can add those two things we want to it we're going to add these actions right now we're going to add subscribe to campaign because we want to subscribe to that campaign we just created which was called test there it is. So I'll subscribe in there to that campaign and then we'll also add a tag. So we'll add another action and we'll add a tag and you're going to create a tag, whatever you want. That's going to relate to this opt-in page. Okay. So we'll just, hit, I'm, I'm going to put test again and I'll create this new tag. And those are the two rules that we're going to set here. So we'll save that and you're ready to go. You're fully automated here. Now, anytime someone goes and opts in to this page, they're going to get put on that campaign that you just created. Now, after they opt in, you can send them over to a thank you page or a download page if you're giving them some kind of freebie. Uh, so I'll just select this one here and we'll take a look at it real quick. After they opt in and give them your email address, they'll then be forwarded over to the next page in your funnel, which could be again, designed however you like, or if you choose, you can actually send them over. If we go back and edit the page, click on the button and go to action win button click. Not only are we going to do a submit form, but we can actually redirect them to another URL. So instead of sending them to a thank you page, we can send them direct to maybe if we're doing affiliate marketing, we can send them direct to an offer. We can send them direct to our Facebook group and get them in there. Just another way uh, to go ahead and connect instead of having to do that thank you page. So the next thing I'll show you is newsletters. So under the email section here, newsletters is where we're at. We can go and create a newsletter. Now newsletter is just like sending an email to your whole list, or you can actually uh, just send it to certain tags. So that's why it's really important to tag your email list. So we can go and put in the subject here. And I always do classic editor and I can hit save. And here's where I'll write that email and I can select the tags that I want to send it to, or I can exclude the tags that I don't want to send it to. I can add an attachment. I can schedule it. I can test it. I can do all that from right here. And when I'm ready, I can go ahead and send. Moving on now to lead management, which includes your contact list and all those tags. We're under the contact section here right there we clicked on that you can see i have a uh, 2700 or so email contacts these are people that have opted in to any one of my pages for whatever reason uh, and they have a ton of filters here that you can uh, filter them down by here's one that i usually use a lot is tag and then email activity and contact state those are the ones that i generally use the most because you're going to want to manage and clean and scrub your list so sometimes people give you bad email addresses sometimes the emails you send uh, get blocked or get sent to spam or bounce or maybe people unsubscribe. These things happen naturally and you have to maintain your list and this is how you do it with system.io. I usually like to go to contact state and the first thing I'm going to look for is for any email addresses that have a bounce. So I'll click on that and it'll filter those down for me and you can see I've got four here. And I'm going to go ahead and just delete these because they're bad email addresses and I don't want them affecting my email deliverability. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete these bounced email addresses. Next, I'm going to go and see if anyone has unsubscribed. So contacts will be filtered again. These people have decided to unsubscribe for whatever reason. Not a big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and select them all and delete them from my email list because I just don't need them. So the last thing I like to do is to look at the email activity here. So what you can do here is you can kind of clean your list a little bit more. So say if someone hasn't opened your email in six months, they subscribed a long time ago, it's been six months and they're just not opening any of your emails. You can go ahead and just filter that with this email activity section here, select your date, filter it, and then remove those people from your list because they're no good to you anyways. Now under the same tab, you can also go and manage your tags. So you can create new tags. You can look at what your tags are doing. You can see how many uh, opt-ins you have for the specific tag. You can see how many sales those tags are bringing you and your sales per contact, right? So that's all awesome information uh, to understand to help grow your business. Uh, if you set a specific tag and you know where your buyers are coming from, you can then put more effort into that specific 
uh, avenue rather than wasting your efforts on other sections, right? So it's very important to tag your leads and know where they're coming from. So now you know enough to go and set up your opt-in page, to set up your email campaign, to set up those automations and those tags. The last thing you want to pay attention to is the statistics of your emails because it's not enough just to send emails. You want to make sure that they're going where they should be going, that people are actually interested in clicking on your emails and opening them. You get to look at all the statistics of your business to make sure, especially that you're not getting reported as spam and that your emails aren't bouncing and it breaks it down here in system.io email by email you can go and see what those emails are doing that's everything you need to know to go out there and set up your very first email marketing campaign with system.io it's very simple and very easy this video is not very long the steps are there inside this video for you to go and create your opt-in page your email list set up the automations get everything tailored to you and what your specific lead magnet is and you'll be ready to start running traffic to that page don't forget that you can get started with system.io for free but if you want to get one of those paid plans which i recommend at at least the starter plan personally i am on the webinar plan because i love all the features that comes with it and it's very very affordable especially when you compare it to something like clip funnels right if you want to get a paid plan be sure to get my bonuses by using the link down in the description or in that first comment i hope you liked this video if it did if it helped you out throw a like on it and i'll catch you guys on that next one peace